Atlas has not yet changed their company name to Atlas. We get off on your tears. You know a game wants you to take it seriously when it quotes Shakespeare you right at the beginning. <laughs> I feel like I'm watching PBS in the late 80s. When the night sky fills with glamour. And apparently I wasn't far off. They're definitely aping late night public broadcasting with this opening. I'm so sexy that the camera has to focus on my outrageous leg cross move. Who gets up in the morning and says to themselves, I'm going to wear my hair like this today. And then spends the necessary eight hours it would take to get it like that. Also her afro covers even her cheeks. That is not a good look. Good evening. Welcome to the Golden Playhouse. Also, are you supposed to be black? I'm getting a serious 70s black girl vibe off you with the way you act, look, and dress, but you're clearly not black. This is confusing the hell out of my racism detector. Have you heard about this scary rumor? They say if you fall in a dream and don't wake up before you land, you die. In real life. If the premise that your story hinges on doesn't offer enough risk, just make it fatal if someone fails. If you die in the game, you die for real has only ever worked in one movie. You know which one I'm talking about. Tonight's story is Catherine, an unconventional romantic horror. Spoiler, there is no actual horror in this game. Hell, there's hardly any romance. Suddenly this just turned into anime sins. And speaking of anime sins, man do I feel bad for the poor bastards doing that. Can you imagine? Somehow this game manages to get sinned for a start with the main character waking up cliche, even though he was already awake and in a restaurant. But he did come back from reality from whatever mental world he was daydreaming in. Angry Woman Morse Code. This fake TV channel watermark is going to be here for most of the entire game, isn't it? Did Vincent just have a stroke? His eyes move independently in different directions. Oh, sorry. I uh, had to work early this morning. At this point, Troy Baker is voicing 90% of all video game protagonists. Look, I get it, he's a great actor, but he shouldn't be the first choice for every game. I just played Infamous Second Son a week ago where he played the lead, so now I'm gonna keep expecting Vincent to start talking about conduits and concrete powers. You know, you've been a little out of it lately. Is everything all right? You've been spacing out left and right. You just ended two sentences with the same word, which makes this line sound like a bad Taylor Swift song. J-pop. Show of hands, fellas. What is the missing element of this POV shot of Vincent waking up in the morning? I feel like I should be playing this game on my cell phone. Circular fluorescent lighting. I'm not allowed to install circular fluorescent lighting in my apartment, so fuck circular fluorescent lighting. Only $80,000 for a trip into space? Is Virgin Galactic doing that badly? Also, for space tourism? I'm hardly the person that should send anyone for a typo, but I think you forgot how to word. This place is clearly a Japanese style apartment and even has notes written in kanji on the wall. Yet this game will try its hardest to convince me that this takes place in the US. Bedwetting. So are you getting anything extra for this? For what? For all this overtime you're doing. Oh, uh, not this time. This time? Do you usually get overtime pay? Well, no, but... So you don't get anything? I've never heard of a programmer position that doesn't offer overtime pay. I'm starting to wonder if the game's devs were trying to voice a complaint with their dialogue here. Have you ever had a dream where you died? You mean like where you're in danger? That is the definition of a situation where you could die, yes. Here we see the rare red herring ant. Used here to tie this character to this insect, so you'll suspect her of wrongdoing later when it shows up again. Truly a majestic creature. This cutting between in-game graphics and anime is just as jarring as when the FMV games did it with live action back in the 90s. Vincent's jacket looks to have been embroidered with a felt marker judging from the text on the shoulder. Also, writer equipments? Don't you mean writer equipment? During the anime sequence of this scene, there was only two slices of pizza left and the beer was to the right of the guy in overalls. In-game, there are only four slices left and the beer is now on his left. I've already told my girl that I'm not interested in marrying her. I told my girlfriend that once and I no longer have a girlfriend. Anyway... Did you hear about Paul? He's dead. Paul? Wait, that Paul? You really clarified to the viewer as to which Paul you were talking about by putting that before his name, even though we've never been introduced to any Paul and ever will. Maybe Will will wind up dead tomorrow too. Shut the hell up. Man, I hate the news. They're always trying to push their agenda for ratings. Normally I would agree with that statement, but when it comes to reporting about people dying in their sleep, well, that's pretty hard to spin to fit an agenda. Not very many ways you can blame that one on Obama. Well, speaking of crazy stuff this morning, I pissed the bed for the first time since grade school. Considering how pleased he sounds with that, I was kind of hoping he would put up for a high five and get left hanging. You know, I don't think I need to hear this. Talking about men dying horribly in their sleep? No problem. But a man wetting the bed because of a nightmare? Well, that's where you draw the line in the conversation. Obvious Tower of Babel reference is obvious. <laughs> You might want to see a doctor about your jaw. I think you might have dislocated it. Also, waking up next to someone naked with no memory of the previous night, presumed sex, 
If the sexes were reversed in this situation, this game would never have seen release. Marriage is just a tradition, right? Seriously, who wants to be tied down? I actually lost a bet with myself over this character. I bet she would be voiced by Tara Strong due to her being a hot blonde, which is all Tara Strong is allowed to play. But no, she's voiced by Laura Bailey. If you're wondering why this is a sin, well it's because I hate losing, even to myself. I take back what I said earlier about the afro. Catherine's hair swirlies are breaking several laws of physics and good taste. On the plus side, it means no one will be able to accurately cosplay Catherine ever. It's not that strange, is it? Men aren't the only ones who fear being chained down. I'll remember that. Thank goodness. Huh? We think alike. Oh! Does it not seem a bit odd to you that this girl can teleport to a new seat without you realizing it? I mean, I know you're a bit wasted right now, but I like to think I could still recognize magic even when drunk. Mm. Is this some fetish or cultural thing I'm not aware of? Watching women drink? Normally for me, it's watching them eat something phallic. But whatever gets you there, I guess. Oh. Wouldn't that be a visual metaphor for losing your erection? Also, how the hell does a cigarette just do that without someone puffing on it? This is the reverse of how this scene usually goes. Normally in this kind of scene, the girl will still have her underwear on after sex. In this case, it's Vincent who still has his boxers on and Catherine is still in her birthday suit. It's also worth mentioning that for a game that's all about cheating and adult relationships and new sex at every opportunity in its advertising, there isn't any actual nudity or sex anywhere in this game. You can be tasteful if you want, but if this is your box art, you better deliver at some point. Uh would you mind not staring at me like that? It's kind of creepy. Oh. <laughs> You're naked and sitting on top of him. You can't put a steak in front of a dog and tell it not to salivate. This may be the first dating sim I've ever played. The entire game takes place in basically two locations, the bar and Vincent's bedroom. You have your choice between two women, one a yen dairy, the other a soon dairy. The only thing it's missing is the actual porn. I don't just sleep around. I came here because I like you. I've seen more Vincent than you have and I can't tell you one likable thing about him. <sighs> Oh. Most of Vincent's dialogue so far has been him stuttering and stalling for time while trying to think of something to say to a girl. And I get the feeling that trend will continue throughout the game. I can't quite explain it. Uh, I feel odd? Hmm? You see, this is my first time. You're 32 years old. Even if she did buy that lie, it's not going to reflect well on you. And I am really screwing this up right now. I believe you're supposed to say that internally. Ah! What? I'm sorry. I'm really... Man, talk about nostalgia. Sorry, just relive in my teens. Please continue. I'm sending this because they only play audio of Catherine changing into her clothes rather than showing it. People speaking in Japanese, a conveyor belt sushi restaurant named Kappa Heaven. Yep, totally Japan. This is awfully petty of me, but I just really hate that guy's hat. Thank you, Helpful Exposition Extra. Without you, this game might have had to have a more interesting scene to explain crucial information. I like that creepy guy in horror movies who tries too hard to be noticed. Is that a cliche I've never heard of or recognized before? Because I can't think of any good examples. Yeah, I want a woman who's, you know, mature, stern, has a nice pair of heels. Hmm. So, did I hear someone call for me? Oh, hey, Erica! I've got a nice pair of stiletto heels I know how to use. That line Toby said about liking older women with a nice pair of heels was over half a minute ago, and Erica was nowhere near this table, so I have to wonder how she heard him say that. It seems that Boss was a bit of a player back in the day and broke more than his share of hearts. You see how he's wearing those tacky sunglasses indoors? They say he's using those to hide his face. When one character points out something like this about another character, you just know that shit's gonna be important later on. You know, if all you did was show me a screenshot of this boss, I'd still be able to tell you this was an Atlas game without knowing anything else about it. Uh, what is she doing here? I thought I came home alone. You don't find it at all weird that this girl who doesn't have a key to your apartment manages to appear out of nowhere on your bed without waking you? I just want to point out that there is no way in hell that hair is surviving the night sleeping on a pillow. This game continues to get mileage out of the conveniently placed bed sheets, and now conveniently placed monitors join the party. You are cock teasing me to the point of annoyance. Last night was amazing. It was the first time I've ever done something like that. What? What? Oh, wait. What did I do? Whatever it was you did, it didn't involve you removing your boxers, which kind of limits the possibility to dry humping or oral. Vincent, 
You can live however you want, too. Just so long as you never think of cheating on me. I can't help but wonder if Catherine is a reference to Catherine Trammell from Basic Instinct. Both are hot blondes who entice men away from the supposed good girl, and both are possibly crazy. I'm running really late. Huh? I think I'm pregnant. <laughs> Horror court. Uh, uh, uh. Come on, say something. Uh, uh, of course, I'm I'm happy, but but this is great. So you're happy. That's good to hear. Honestly, if you're a woman and can't see through an obvious bullshit story like this, then you need to turn in your woman cards. Do women have woman cards like men have man cards? If not, they should, since they're good for making points like this. And ladies, if your significant other says what Vincent just said, then it means he does not want a kid right now, no matter what else he tells you. It just occurred to me that I spent half this video telling men how to be men, women how to be women, and how to act while cheating. All things I am in no way qualified to do. Yet I'm pretty certain my advice is sound, which just goes to show you how incompetent the characters are. Uh. Huh? Go ahead, answer it. He was already doing that. Hello? Record. You have now officially hit your limit. Any more after this, and it's two sins for everyone afterward. Did she get my number? I gotta hang up, or she'll suspect something. Dude, you are holding your hand over your mouth while on a call. You only do that if you don't want the people around you to overhear who you're talking to. You couldn't give it away harder that something is up if you tried. What was that? Huh? Ah, <clears throat> huh? uh, just a call from work. Said something about a bug. But it got cut off. <laughs> yes, a bug so important that I had to cover up the receiver on my phone so you couldn't hear us talking about it. Huh? Oh, this. Yeah, the, the new model came out last Nice touch with the funeral march soundtrack. That didn't get old back in third grade when my classmates hummed it every time someone got sent to the principal's office. girl on the side just so happens to show up at the same location that the main character and his girlfriend are currently in cliche. Let the wacky rom-con hijinks ensue! Listen to me. Overreacting. Uh, hey, is this the smoking section? Huh? Well, yeah. And yet no one at the other tables are smoking. This is the same exact meal and drink combination these guys were having the first time we saw them here. Right down to the slices of pizza and the drink placements. So, what did you want to talk about? <sighs> What are you doing here? And why aren't you naked? You've already established a trend. God, why can't I remember the time I spend with you? It's like the important parts are missing. Yeah, about that. Hey, what's this long hair? <sighs> oh, that's mine. Probably off my chest. <laughs> you know, manly. Huh? Your <laughs> chest? Really? First off, you've seen him topless on two different occasions, so you would notice a single pale chest hair on him. Secondly, he has dark hair, so he wouldn't be growing blonde hair on his chest. Third, you can't grow one hair at a time. Fourth, chest hair doesn't grow that low. Ah, just screw it. This scene is so pathetic I can't even keep sending it. It's not from another girl, is it, Vincent? No, why, why would you say that? You know, because if it is, I'm going to die right here. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Knock it off with all the dying stuff, okay? Then I'll kill you. <laughs> I die, or I kill you. Which would be better? You know, all of your problems could have been solved by now if you just grew some balls and said, I have a girlfriend. Now you're stuck with a creepy psycho who may or may not be a demon or a figment of your imagination. The red herring ant will journey for miles in search of a plot it can add confusion to in order to throw off an audience's suspicion of one character by implicating another. <laughs> What the heck? Why is this locked? Because that's normally the state of a door during the night or morning. Who's that? <laughs> it is my landlady. <laughs> she was trying to open the door. Oh. Will you keep it down? Huh? One of my bosses is here. Oh. <sighs> huh? He's awake? Yeah, hurry up! Sorry, really sorry. I just wanted to protect you from the smell. Huh? He really smells, you know, and he was drinking last night. Oh, just fuck you all in your stupidity. Needing the parents. I'm just gonna sit here and let this happen. Make sure you voice all the thoughts in your head. That way you know what you're thinking. Hey! 
What are you looking at in there? I want to see. Said no one ever in a restroom stall. So, uh, you still doing the two-timing tango? You were just in the restroom with him while he looked at and talked about the naked photos of herself she was sending him. You even asked to see the photo. Accidents, huh? One more of them lately. The old guy next door to me kicked the bucket. I heard shocking, huh? Thought he always did like to party. Thank you, Exposition Extra. This restaurant is a gold mine for picking up details on the plot. Every time this game has had the opportunity to show boobs, it's covered them up with scenery. But it's perfectly fine now when they're on a horrifying monster version of Vince's girlfriend. To be fair, it's total Barbie doll anatomy with no nipples. But still. Who is... You know Catherine, right? Huh? This is Steve? Catherine's boyfriend? This scene is supposed to make you wonder which Catherine this guy is talking about, but since their names are spelled differently with C and K respectively, the subtitles give it away immediately. And speaking of subtitles, I didn't find out until I'd already beaten the game that there was a way to turn them off, completely screwing with the look of my video. Put that in the options menu. It's that simple. Jump scare. Really? Then who is it? How would I know? Maybe it's some other Catherine you know. Yeah, like I know a... Seriously, how did you ever get a girlfriend in the first place? Take care. Oh, okay. She's gone now. You can stop holding your arms up. There's that exact same table arrangement again. So she dumped him? Yep. People say he's in bad shape. He's looking pretty messed up now. He might not pull out of this. He may even show up on the morning news. Without overhearing other customers' conversations, this game would not be able to move the plot along. Lately, a lot of customers have been talking about having strange dreams. As well as everything else regarding the plot. <laughs> That's just stupid. How's anyone supposed to know what dream the dying person had? They're dead. This guy? This guy right here? He'd be great at game sins. The red herring ant is locked in a constant struggle for survival with its natural predator. Good writing. In this instance, it is clearly the victor. They're after this. What is it? Cake? Well, who did you get this from? Oh, I've got a, a real sweet tooth is all. <laughs> uh, wait, really? So do I. That's the first believable excuse you've come up with. Trust me, you are just fine, baby. You were so good we both put our clothes back on this time. Yay! <laughs> all right! <laughs> hey, this will be our first real day! If your girlfriend starts doing this, you might want to double check how old she is. Look, I've got to ask you something. You know what I'm talking about, right? You haven't asked her the question yet. How could she know what you're talking about from just that? W why don't you just tell me something about the girl you called me about? Like, what does she look like? I, I know a girl named Catherine, but it's somebody different. What? Me. Look, the Catherine I know, she's white. Whoa, was there not a better way to point out the difference between the two? Something a little bit less 1965 Selma, Alabama-ish? See previous table arrangements sin. You guys better be careful too. Haven't you heard the rumor? Ah, uh, that again? They say all the men who died were cheaters, so they were cursed. This is like the third time you've brought this up. I think we get the point by now that dreams are dangerous and cheating gets you cursed. No need to keep explaining what's already known. So that's where they got the idea for Attack on Titan. Don't believe me? Just watch this scene with different music. It would seem exposition customers have been replaced by exposition newscasters. That dead guy on the nose just now, I know that guy. He lived in my neighborhood. Never mind. There they are. Yesterday, I finally became a man. Got rid of my V card. Boom. Uh, wait, back up. With who? Take a wild guess. It shouldn't be too hard. <laughs> Erica. Yep, bingo. Sorry, I got to her first, man. <sighs> Seriously? Yeah, but there was something weird about it. You know, I can't really explain it. Since this game doesn't do a very good job of hinting at it, I'll tell you the reason he gets flustered about Toby sleeping with Erica is because Erica is transgender. Not a single one of Toby's friends told him about this, even though he was showing interest. What the hell does that mean? Oh, oh, oh. You are really pissing me off! <laughs> Don't stick your dick in crazy.
If your spleen was just ruptured, then you need to go to the hospital, not have another drink. Come on in. <laughs> Hello? <gasps> okay, now you have to acknowledge this girl isn't normal. Your apartment was empty except for you until just now when she appeared behind you. Vincent, honey, you're not really gonna try and play dumb now, are you? After all you've done to my body? Night after night? Yeah, about that. If you work hard enough to get something, you'll get it. Don't you think that's true? Well, he worked me hard, and now he's got me. Simple as that. I'm going to require proof of these claims. Plus, I'm sure you have no idea of this even, but this one's a wild man in the sack. Vincent drinks himself into a consciousness every night before bed. I have serious problems believing that. <laughs> Actual mind screw. Don't you run away from me! How exactly do you manage to turn the knife you're holding around 180 degrees to stab yourself from this position? Or even have enough leverage to drive it in and kill yourself instantly? From your chains. I speak for everyone who's ever played this game when I say fuck this level. Fuck this level in particular. Or more specifically, fuck Catherine for making this an escort mission in a puzzle platformer. You keep backing up like that, you're going to accidentally fall off the ledge cliche. Catherine! Why did you have to dive after her if there was another ledge right below her? I mean, you fell further than she did by jumping down since you were several block layers higher. <sighs> what? Hey, are you alright? It was all a dream cliche. We have to talk. Huh? You've been cheating on me, haven't you? Do you admit it? So, well... Well, yeah, I, I admit it, but, but everything's good now. Well, you spit that out rather easily, even though you spent the entire game stumbling over every word. Though you still manage to screw yourself by saying everything is okay now, right after admitting to cheating. Did you think I didn't notice? Well, yeah, I sort of did. <laughs> There's that horror sting again. Snap out of it. Vincent. I came here to break up with you. What? No. Vincent just had another stroke. I'm going now. Oh, that's right. I brought you an energy drink. Um, I'll leave it here. So drink it. Nothing says I'm breaking up with you like a can of monster. It's easy to keep things like they are now, but this month, I'm running really late. I think I'm pregnant. Walking through the rain while remembering every important thing his girlfriend ever said to him? This has all the signs of a man about to turn his life around with the power of angst. People going through depression always find the most appropriate signs to walk by. And people wonder why suicide rates are so high in Japan. Don't get so down, man. You'll end up dying for real. Hey, I wouldn't happen to be in the middle of a dream right now, would I? Just out of curiosity, why are you holding this meeting in the restroom? Your pants are clearly still on, so you can't be using the toilet. Who dreams about taking a shit with another guy? Judging from the Google search I just did, quite a few. Nothing's here. Ah, uh, no calls, huh? That's too bad. No, 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 no. It, it, it's all gone. What's wrong? You had a toilet paper in there? Oh, I gotcha. Wah, wah. After that mess with her, you guys came by and tried to cheer me up, remember? You don't remember that? Uh, yeah, I remember that part. But all I saw was you looking pathetic by yourself. By myself? Yep. She was with me, right? I said I didn't see her. Hell, I never even saw her once. That's impossible. Maybe she was a dream girl. You know, a Tyler Durden-style girlfriend character is a pretty interesting idea. The only problem is that it's impossible to keep that plot twist hidden anymore since everyone has already seen Fight Club. I saw that one coming ever since Vincent couldn't remember the nights he spent with Catherine or figured out how she got into his apartment. Wait a second. That night, when she walked in the bar, there was something... Wow, well, there's a lot of people here, but this isn't really my crowd. I'm sorry, miss. That's right. She spoke to someone else besides me. Vincent remembers overhearing Boss, the bartender, welcoming Catherine to the bar the day he met her, all the while completely forgetting the other evidence, such as the call from her right in front of his girlfriend who told him to answer the phone, and your girlfriend saying that Catherine was prank calling her. Tell me you didn't see her. There is no way she does not exist. <laughs> well, normally that is the case. Normal people can't see her after all. 
<laughs> Wait, what? My words exactly. You had a good thing going with the whole imaginary girl thing. Now you're going to throw that away in order to be, well, every other game Atlas has ever made with demons and gods. What is with these fucking shades? You are indoors! Fucking called it. Wasting a woman's time of greatest fertility is a hindrance to the future of the species. So we separate these non-fruitful couples and redistribute the women to men who can follow the natural order, you see? Demons and gods in this game have seriously mundane evil plans. They're the equivalent of demonic zookeepers trying to get pandas to bone. Since Thomas Mutton is killing men who don't bother fathering children, wouldn't that mean he killed a crap ton of gay and infertile men? And most of the men in China? Man, Stan Lee cameos are getting way out of hand. I'd be interested in knowing how many games have final bosses that are just giant floating heads. Look, men and women, they're more complicated than you think. You're just being selfish. All right, Mutton. What I want doesn't really matter. I mean, people's lives aren't planned out for them. There's no roadmap. Millennium's old god can be lectured to about men, women, and love like it's the ending to an episode of South Park. It was all an illusion. Huh? What was? My cheating. Huh? There never was another woman. Now tell her how Catherine was a succubus from hell. No? Just going to write that one off for this ending and claim it was on illusion? Can't really blame you. The imaginary girlfriend was a much better angle. Too bad you ruined it. Hello, everyone. It's nice to be able to see you again. How'd you enjoy the show? Eh, six out of ten. Did you happen to notice the central conflict that this game's masterful creators placed at its core? Five out of ten now that you just stroked your own ego with that line. Uh, testing, one, two, three. <clears throat> <clears throat> Sorry to keep you waiting, everyone. Now. Here comes the bride. You're actually letting the guy who tried to kill you break up you and your girlfriend and killed countless other men officiate your wedding? This place isn't closing down after all. That's right. It's good for me since I get to hang on to my job. Huh? Although he's not gonna stop hitting on me. <laughs> you know he's a demon. I don't think you're taking this seriously enough. <laughs> oh, Erica. don't you worry now. We'll always have each other, sweet pea. I, I, the other guys knew you was Eric back in school. I want my damn V-card back! Sorry, but once that hole is punched, there's no refund. Doesn't matter. That's sex. I want my damn V-card back! Sorry, but once that hole is punched, there's no refund. Uh -huh.